Oh, we're here with uh, Notre Dame's Quentin Chivas. Uh, you're, you're the Voyager Media Player of the Year this season. Uh, talk a little bit about uh, what you were able to do this year. You averaged over 20 points a game and uh, about 10 rebounds a game. Um, I knew last year, I mean, I think I averaged around, you know, around the same numbers. I think I did a little bit better this year. But, I mean, I think on the, on the defensive end, I really uh, helped my team out because that's what we needed to win. And uh, I think I showed that uh, last year we won 19 games and this year we won 23. So uh, a four-win improvement is pretty good in my opinion. And I don't think uh, Notre Dame has been uh, to that uh, winning level uh, for a while. So I'm pretty happy about that, that for my, my three-year stay at Notre Dame that, uh, you know, we've always had winning seasons. Now talk about your uh, your growth as a player. You didn't start playing organized basketball uh, until your sophomore year. Um, you know how, what kind of growth were you able to, to kind of do in those in those two years? Um, I really just put in a lot of hard work in the off season. I mean, my sophomore year, um, I was kind of I had a small role as just you know rebounding, scoring side, and we had a lot of good guys like Mike DiGregorio, um, Dallas Moreland, um, Doug Walney. We just had so many uh, um, older guys that uh, really helped me to work on my game and when they left that's what I, I worked on in the off season. Uh, I worked a lot on my jump shot and my ball handling and then my junior year just kind of took off for me and then going into my senior year I knew I had to improve uh, even more if I wanted to become a high major uh, division one player and I thought I did that the whole summer uh, and just going into the season and then you know the outcome overall just you know I had a great season as a player and then as a team. And your shooting got a lot better. You know, we're able to shoot like 35, 36 percent yeah. uh, from three point. I mean, uh, I just got a lot of reps in, a lot of shots. I took, a, I got more confidence from outside. I mean, my game last year was more mid range, and I think uh, you know this year I kind of just pulled my range outside and just became comfortable. And when you hit more shots and you see uh, yourself shooting at a high percentage, you know you get more confident to take that shot. And I guess I really just became comfortable with it and became a lot better. Uh, big decision now for you for college. Talk a little bit about what are your what you're thinking about, where you're leaning towards. Um, right now, my recruitment's just wide open. I mean, I told a lot of people I was going to wait till the end of the season uh, to make my decision, but uh, I still think I need more time. So I think you know, narrowing it down into the next month is probably when I'll make my decision. Um, right now, uh, I currently have offers from TCU, Indiana State, um, Southern Illinois, St. Louis, Colorado State. In uh, Jacksonville, and I have Penn State, NC State, and uh, and many others recruit me really hard, like Nebraska and Iowa right now. And uh, I really just want to uh, let the other schools that are in the tournament that are still recruit me, um, you know, give them time to uh, to get into their uh, the end of the season because they still have games to win since they're in the tournament. And um, I think when it's all said and done. Uh, I know I'll be going to a good college uh, that I want uh, to have ac good academics, um, a good coaching staff. Uh, I, I can bond with the players and overall just, you know, for my four-year stay, I'll have a good college experience, and I think I'll find that in the next month. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much, Quentin. Congratulations on a great year. All right. Thank you.